Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, just focusing on the shorter time frame here. Bitcoin had a very, very slow start to the week. Very chaotic, disorganized movements there. Bitcoin didn't really want to uh, didn't really want to decide if it wants to go up or down. It's basically sitting between two scenarios. Um, overall, you need. I mean, it's always a question of time frame, isn't it? Um, we did highlight that one more high would be great for Bitcoin. So I'd, I'd still like to see here um, what one more high. And yeah, I mean, ideally, uh, we get sort of to 37,600 up there, roughly. 37.5K would be okay. That's what I would like to see uh, in wave five to, to basically call um, wave five complete. Um, that's sort of my, my minimum I'd like to see. Technically, what we need is just a five wave move above the third wave high which was made here at uh, 35,150. But we'd like to see a healthy wave five to keep it um, not only valid, but also reliable. So Bitcoin might have completed this fourth wave here, which was the Friday low at around 34,100. And of that low, yeah, we could be starting a five wave move. If that's the case, it's probably not an impulse. It would look rather like a diagonal in wave five, basically an ending diagonal, um, in which, yeah, the movements are normally very disorganized, very chaotic, very corrective. Um, to confirm that further, we need to see a break above the X wave high at 36K. And the price needs to avoid a break below $34,510, which is here the wave too low. So I have allowed for this pathway, I have added that already uh, when we made the last video to explain to you, you know, how would the pathway look like if we break up higher and how many waves do we need to expect? Okay, if we break below that X wave low here, okay, which is here the yellow pathway, if Bitcoin retraces, pulls back, comes down, then the orange support box down there is still there for support of the, uh, for the price. So we will have support uh, around about 32,480 to 33,510. There are many micro support levels we discussed in previous videos. As a channel member, you can access all these TradingView live charts and then you see them as well. Um, or you see them here on the screen. Um, if we break below this support cluster, there is one more left here. But below 29,550, I would have to take a more bearish perspective on Bitcoin. But I don't even assume at this stage we will get into this region. We can't even get into the higher support region. So from that point of view, you know, um, we'll just need to let the market decide here. Both pathways are possible. For me, you know, I mean, there is they are all part of one scenario, you could say. So either we continue from here or we go down and then move up. These are the two main scenarios. I'm watching, I would prefer, first of all, a pullback before continuation, but we've seen it many times now when Bitcoin just is so stubborn, doesn't want to get back into support, then it can sometimes just go straight away. That wouldn't be a problem. I mean, the requirements for this wave four correction, they are fulfilled. Um, it's just that when we have these sloppy movements, these these choppy beginnings of a, of a move up, um, it is often very difficult to say, okay, has it started or not? That's why we're tracking support and, you know, it's it's all about positioning oneself in a way that, um, you know, you can capitalize on that movement if you want to trade it. So the idea is against that wave two low here, wave two, oops, wave two of five, ba basically, um, the focus can be on higher. At the same time, if that level breaks, the yellow count will likely send us lower. This is very disorganized. I mean, if we say, and this is really a micro perspective now, if we really say we are in wave Y of B, which can still push a little higher, then we might even say that this is another A, B, C structure with a small triangle here. So this could unfold as a bit of a triangle there. But again, we're talking now about um, really micro structures here, which are uh, only on the 30 minute chart. So they, they do invalidate quickly and they change quickly as well. But I think we might have a small corrective triangle here, which um, is going to give us a decision soon. Yeah, there is not much more to add at the moment about Bitcoin. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button. 
leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.